Hi there, this video is going to walk you through how to design your own custom graphic tees using PicMonkey. So I'm logged into my PicMonkey account. I'm going to create new. You can upload things from your computer. That's usually photos that you might be editing. Uh, your hub is where you have previous images you've designed stored. Templates is obviously um, templates that PicMonkey is providing you that you can then edit and brand for social media or whatever. So we're going to click on blank canvas and you have lots of options for sizing and they even have things pre-formatted for all kinds of different social media and stuff. Um, since this is for a graphic tee, it doesn't matter the size. So we're going to do this custom 2000 by 2000 and make it. So because you're designing a graphic tee, you, right now we have a big white box and we don't want a big white box with um, words on it on a t-shirt. That would look weird. So you're gonna go over here on the left-hand side and where it says edits, click on background color, check the box that says transparent and apply. So you know that an image has a transparent background when you see this gray and white checkerboard. Next, you're going to click on text and add text and type whatever it is you want your t-shirt to say. You will notice PicMonkey has tons and tons of fonts available that are already in the app platform. App. Um, make sure you're highlighting your text before you're choosing a font. You can also purchase your own fonts, download them on your computer, and then upload them into PicMonkey. See right here where it says your fonts, and you can upload any fonts that you've purchased or found for free on Pinterest. I will post a link below to where I like to buy fonts from. Um, so this is just a way to make it more custom. Then this little box right here that says text, if you click on the circle, this is where you can decide where you can change the color. This is also if you wanted to fade it. And obviously playing around with your size. So you also have the option, if this is enough, if this is exactly what you want on your graphic tee, you're going to click on export. But you also have the option to add a graphic. Um, so if you click right here on these little shapes, it says graphics. PicMonkey has tons and tons that are already here. Basic is where you're just gonna get your shapes. So if you wanted like a heart or whatever, and you, if you're adding it, this is not how I would design mine, but just for the sake of teaching you, so if you wanted it to be, you can rotate it, you can make it much smaller, you could also make it bigger. If you wanted it to be, so you're just gonna click where it says layers, different colors, maybe you want this color to be gray, and the color of the heart you want to be pink, mauve, I guess it's kind of a mauve -y. Maybe you want it to be purple, lavender. So this is where you're gonna just play. You could also, um, this is where you can upload your own logo and then add that where it says graphics. You could also, maybe you want it to have the heart right behind your text. I'm gonna center it there. And then, where it says layers, you're just gonna hit the down arrow because I want it to be under my text. So that's how you would add an image or a graphic to go along with your text. If you decide, nah, I hate that, nope, <laughs> just hit the trash can. And then, um, so again, if you hit this graphics on the left-hand side and add your own, that's where you can add something that you're uploading from your own laptop. So once you're all done, you're gonna hit export and you are good to go, and you can just upload your final image onto printful.com or wherever else you're using to style, design your own graphic tees.
Thanks for watching this video. I hope that it was helpful. If you are watching on YouTube, I will leave um, the PicMonkey 30 day free trial link. I think it's 30 days, don't quote me, along with some font bundle links down below.